my name is Suva Gurwal and I'm a math expert. And today we're going to go over how to graph inequalities from middle schoolers. So when you're graphing inequalities, there are four major inequality signs, which is less than, greater than, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to. Now when you're graphing inequalities, you need three major components. You need the number line, a dot, and a ray that extends from that dot. So first, we're just going to draw out our simple number line. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1, negative 2. Now the next thing we're going to think about is that dot. So say I'm going to give an example of x is less than 2. That is what we're going to be graphing. Now the dot, if it's less than a value, it doesn't include that value. It's not less than or equal to. It's less than. So the dot is going to be open, because it's not including that value. Now, if you're including the value, like my, it can be less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to, we're going to color it in because it includes that value. The second thing we're going to think about is the direction. So if something is less than 2, It's going to be all the values that are less than 2. So it's going to be moving in the leftward direction. So less than and less than are equal to, it's going to go to the left. Greater than and greater than are equal to, that's going to move to the right. Because greater than 2, 3, 4, all those numbers are greater than 2. So let's take our example problem. x is less than 2. Less than. So it's going to be our open dot. So we're going to go to 2, put on that open dot, not including that value less than. Well, that's going to be moving to the left. Go ahead and draw it like that. And that's how you graph inequalities for middle schoolers. My name is Suba Gurwal, and thank you for taking an interest in math.